The Secret of the Rubens Valley Chapter 3 We are called the Rubens. Chapter 3 I got up the next morning and got dressed and went to the bathroom and then went into the living room to see if they was still there but he TV was off and then went to the bedroom and they both was sound asleep. I went to the kitchen to get something to drink and sat in the living room and watch TV. It was quite a while before they got up. When they got up I could hear them in the bathroom and then they come to the living room and I said it is okay and passed the remote. They sat and watched the show I was watching and then said what is for lunch. I said I have to back to work today and you can find something to eat in the fridge and said we can handle that. I got up because it was time to go to work. I work second shift at a sporting goods store restocking shelves and helping customers in other things that come up. I hope they did all right today. It has been a long time since they have had a house to stay in. It seemed like the day would never end. Finally it was time to go home. I stopped at the food store and got some things then went home and they both was still watching TV and when I come in they said did you get some ice cream? I said I got a great big container, and you can have ice cream for a week now. They said can we have some right now? I said okay when I get things taken care of I will get you some. They both said at the time that would be great. I put things away and got them some ice cream. I even got some for me too. I took in and they grabbed it right away and started eating it. We sat and ate ice cream and watched TV. In a little while I said where would you two like to do? They looked at me and said we do not know for this is all new to us. We did all kinds of things the rest of the week and then on Friday I said I want to back to the cave and check it out some more if that is all right with you. They that would be great to get back home. I said okay and on Saturday morning we packed up and headed back. When we got there one said I will fly up make sure I know where we are at so when you head that way we will not get Rubens. One of them got out of the car and walked a little ways and took off. It was not long when she come back and said we are not far from the cave and we can walk or fly there. I said we can fly there I did no bring much with me this time. We flow there in no time and we entered the cave and it seemed like we walked and walked. Finally we come out in the clearing and we head the cabins. She went in one and then come right back out. She said someone has been here and taken some stuff she had in there. It was not much but that is all she had. Soon we heard some noises coming from one of the cabins. It sounded like a cat or something like that. Then I see something come out of one of the cabins and started heading towards us. When it got close enough it looked like a woman and she had wings spread out. That is why from a long way off whatever it was looked really big. When she to up to us she said one of the girls names and said where have you been I have been. Looking for everywhere. The girl said we was out riding around and even went into the city to see everything. The other girl just looked at us and said okay ya yeah, right. Then said dinner is almost ready and come and sit down. We went over to seems like a table and we sat down. It was not long when she brought out something and I did not know what it was. One of the girls said what it was but I could not make out what she said. Then she said it was something we have here that is really good too. We sat and eat and then the new girl said so let's go to the falls and swim. We said okay. Then she looked at me and said oh yes who are you? I said my name and she said where did you come from? I am from the city and come here to camp and I found a small cave and I pointed to one of the girls and she was in there sleeping. With all the noise I made woke her up. Then we met and then she showed me this place and she brought something for me to eat and I fell asleep and then I woke with wings. She said that can happen here. There was like 20 of us come out here about 20 years ago to go camping and we found this place. And we did the same thing you did we ate something here and just about all of us woke up with 
wings. So we went back and took care of things and just moved out here. Life was easier here and we like the way we will live now. We still fly into the city once in a while just to incite C. I said wow so how long have you been here now? She said about 20 years now but we do not look our ages for some reason the plants keeps us from aging fast. We still get older but not quite as fast you would that is without wings. The one of the set place we are in is about 5 miles square and we can fly over the hills. But there is nothing on the other side of them. So we just come back here. The only way it seems to get out of the area is going back through the cave. I said we I can stay until tomorrow and then I have to head back home to go to work on Monday. I said so show me around some. They said okay and she said let's fly. We took and I followed them and we flew around some and then landed back at the cabins. She said that is pretty much it. From the air it does not look big until you walk it. My then it was dinner time and all three of them went off and it was not long when they brought something with them and I did not say anything I just ate what they brought. After we ate one of the show to a cabin and I went in and there was a mat on the floor and that was it. I laid on the mat and fell asleep and when I woke up it was light out. I guess I sleep all night long. I got up and went outside and headed toward the table and one of the girls come out and said, You hungry? I said I would eat something. Then said okay and it was not long when she brought what we had last night for dinner. I sat and ate and she just looked at me and then said are you married? I said I was not and lived alone. She said we was wondering if all three of us can come and live with you. I said I do not make much money and after a while would not have much food to eat. She said do not worry about food we can get that. I said where will you get food? She said I know someone in the city that can get us all kinds of food. I said okay then I do not mind if all three of you come and stay with me. In a little while the other two come back and said if you want to go back to the city right now. We can go, we are all ready to leave here now. I said okay and got up and followed them to the cave and it was not long when we come out on the other end. We got in the car and headed back to the city. See in the city. Written by John Rulin 3.